everybody welcome to today's video um i just this is kind of a spontaneous one i'm currently in my new flat for those of you who have been following along um we just popped into town today went out for some breakfast like had a nice day and popped into tk max to get some like little essential bits so i thought i'd show you what i got and then i think we're gonna grab a train and go to ikea in like an hour or two maybe um because we really can't do a lot until we've got some more storage because we'll be putting things in places just to move them again so i think that's what our plan is some things we might have to order in like we still need a dining table and like a big console thing for over here and um yeah that's all gonna happen probably at a later date but i would just like some storage for our wardrobes because they're great they have a rail but i need some like more drawers for me and joe but yeah what i got from tika max i'm gonna do first so if this thing got it's really boring and it's just a toilet roll holder um i needed these i needed one of these in my old place and i just never got one because it was our upstairs bathroom but um yeah we, i basically just bit the bullet and got one and this was 9.99 i think and it's just nice it's white it actually feels really good quality pretty heavy you know, it's just a really simple design and then i got this spatula this is a silicon eco-friendly oak wood bpa free all that kind of stuff uh spatula i we do have a spatula already we have a metal one but the coating is coming off of it so um i just picked up this i like wooden things so yeah that's basically it and this is 2.99 this is a very boring <laughs> little haul they're just kind of like essential things that i got and then we got this candle this is an olivia blake candle but like the label's on a bit funny and it's got a slight dent which is why i think it was um in ikea and it is the black oak and kum kumquat and it smells pretty mild but nice and this is for our bathroom so i've got a little setup of like some bath salts and some eucalyptus and then this and i just think it makes it look feel a little like hotel vibes and also olivia blake candles are really expensive normally i think they're about 18 pounds is it 18 pounds yeah 18 pounds and we got it for 5.99 so it's kind of classic maybe we'll burn it maybe we won't i'm not sure but i like the look of it anyway and then the last thing i got like i said we really didn't get a lot but it's this is the main reason we went out was for hangers <laughs> so i'm currently kind of sorting out my wardrobe i have a lot of clothes but now we have two built-in wardrobes which is just incredible because we've never had we haven't had built-ins for such a long time like an actual wardrobe wardrobe and um throughout three four five years whatever it is we bought loads of matching black felt hangers ages ago but they snap and they break and i gave some to my roommate and i gave some to her sister and then joe took some to uni with him so they basically like dissipated and i don't have that many left now so i just bought some white ones i suppose they're kind of like a, a gray white um they're the flocked velvet ones this is a 25 pack and this is a 30 pack they're not actually the same brand but they look the exact same pretty much except for this one has got that little square bit that i don't know what that's for like ties and things accessories bar for scarves and belts that's what it's for um and these weren't cheap actually i'm not gonna lie they're not cheap hangers these were 10 pounds for 30 and eight pounds for these yeah i just got those and that was pretty much everything from tk max well it was everything from tk max but i'm going to take you with me to ikea and hopefully i'll do a little haul later it may not be today hopefully it is but we shall see because i really want to get this place feeling more homey Okay, so you can see we just arrived at Ikea. The train was only nine minutes, but I'm gonna go in now and then I'm gonna pee and um, I'll catch up with you then. It's so pretty. So we've just come in and it's fairly quiet actually, which I'm quite relieved about. Um, we're after some lampshade some storage and some few other little bits she doesn't know my mum actually used to work in ikea for a little while so <laughs> she has a lot of nice things from here like the ones that look more expensive so and ways to, like diy and stuff so that's what i'm here for today a few extra bits i like these baskets 
Joe doesn't like our office chairs. He likes spinny chairs. I just saw these and they are so cute. I'm gonna try and find them later. There's one over here, look. Which is a bit funny when I've got a mask on and I'm this short. Wait, let me do it on here. Hey! Storage thing. We're looking for something kind of like this. I really like the rattan, but I'm also thinking it might be a bit transparent. Um, I'm not sure. And also, it's a little bit cheap, which I know IKEA it's going to be, but yeah, I'm not sure. But it's on my mind. Um, I still need to go to lighting. I want to get some LEDs for our balcony. I still need to get some of the main things we came here for, the baskets and storage, and also some lampshades. And also possibly a doormat, but that's kind of not essential. Just if you happen to see a nice one. So these are the light shades I want. I also do like this one. Um, I don't know whether to get different ones. Would you have like one of each? But I think they need to be matching. Um, so we've got to try and find these somewhere. I'm hoping they're not out of stock. So I just had a look at some of the artificial flowers in this bit behind me. And they're really pretty, but I'm not a big fan of artificial flowers long term because I just think they collect dust, if I'm honest. Um, but now we've been smelling some candles and we're slowly kind of making our way towards the end basically. We're almost there. They didn't have a light I wanted but say la vie, life goes on. Doormats and they have some really, really cute ones like this floral thing here and we've got this one with leaves on it. Oh, the sunshine one's cute too. Look at that. That's cute. So we've just come to the area where you like pick everything up and everything's out of stock. The only thing they have is like the top. They don't have the baskets. They do have the frame in that though, they just don't have the baskets. Is that right? Yeah, they got the top and the frame, but there's no basket. Wait, is that not a basket? Oh no, that's the top. So um, yeah, they don't have what we basically came here for. Um, like this is where they should be. So we are back now, back home. Um, it's nearly seven o'clock, so I'm getting pretty tired, pretty hungry, um, even though we did have that hot dog there, which was good, a little dry, but yeah, it was yummy. So I'm just gonna go through what I got and just give you a little bit of a haul, I suppose. And then I'm gonna put everything in place like where it needs to be and everything and wash things that need to be washed and all that kind of good stuff. So the first thing we got was this. It's just the bag. The rainbow bag obviously because it's currently pride month so we're out here supporting and representing my lgbtqia plus community um yeah so i got that joe told said showed up sorry actually we were like yeah let's pick one up because i already have these pink ones um but this is just cute it's more colorful she's fun we love the first thing that we got were these glasses i actually think these were not viral on tiktok or they were on something like i've definitely seen them before and they're these little glass cocktail glasses they are like cut glass and they're really cute we have a decanter and two glasses that are similar to this so these go very well with that and i just think we haven't got any nice cocktail glasses we have wine glasses and champagne flutes but these are very like you know if we make martinis i love an espresso martini so yeah these are very cute and we got four of those and those were nine pounds for four also the bag was one pound fifty that is what they're called they're called the salskablik salskablik i may be pronouncing that wrong i'm very sorry but yeah that's the first thing we got and then the kind of boring thing that we went for is we have like a unit and i wanted to put some doors on it because it's now a tv unit 
and I don't want everything visible and out all the time. So we got four of these doors for the Calyx doors. These weren't cheap actually. I think these were, yeah, they were nine pounds each. So the Calyx insert with door, just so we can screw them on. I'm gonna change the handles that come with them. And then there's some like closed cabinets for things like board games and stuff which are cute but they're not very like attractive they're very bright and colorful and i want it to be kind of more neutral more minimal simple looking like i'm even gonna get a new cover for my couch and everything so it's it's just more me because a lot of things we had are hand-me-downs obviously we're students we were students rather and um so yeah now i kind of want to make it more like my little dream home so i've got these for the meantime because i don't want to buy a whole new sideboard so we've got four of these and they were 36 pounds in total. And the next thing that we got, which I did show you, I've shown you most of these things to be honest with you, but we got this doormat. I just think it's nice and cute, a nice jute one, just to put outside our door. Our neighbor's one um, <laughs> actually says F off, but this is a little more neutral and chill. I was gonna get another funny one, but um, they're expensive doormats, and this was only, eight pounds that's actually more than i thought but yeah it's cute it's practical um and we needed one basically so then i got some of these tea lights these are just like the bigger ones to go in my outside lantern and these were four pounds for 24 of them then joe got this little tiny pomegranate one because he wants one for his desk that's just a little more neutral um this one is pomegranate it smells good i think it was four pounds yeah, this one was four pounds. Then we got these two other candles. These are the Bell Doft candles. Um, I actually have already had two of these because my mum worked there, like I mentioned earlier, and she had she got me the green one and the grey one, and we actually use them as little glasses now. So because I don't like to get rid of the, any glass cases, so once we burn them, I thought it would be cute to have two more in the pink and the blue. This one is I'm not sure what the scents are actually. It doesn't really say. That one has like flowers on it. Um, they both smell really good anyway, and I like them, and they're again like little kind of cut glass styles. One of those was one pound, and one of them was one twenty five. I'm not sure if there was like an offer on or something, or one of them's in sale, but yeah, I got them anyway. And then I got probably my favourite thing, and it is this vase. But a while ago I went to visit my mum, and she had this, and I loved it, and it's gorgeous, and it's an artist collaboration, so it wasn't cheap, it was £15. But I am trying to get a few vases, because I don't really have any. And whenever I get given flowers, I'm putting them in like <laughs> random stuff. So I got one recently from Arket and then I got this one today. So I've got two fairly nice grown up vases and it was £15, like I said. So expensive, but stunning. They do have it in two other colours. They have it in a grey and in a blue, but I liked the green one best. I just think it's very Art Nouveau kind of style. And then I got some very random little bits. I got this tiny little bunny toy um, this is for a family member's child because it's super cute and I got their sibling one and now I'm gonna get them one and yeah so they're like little toy buds and I just think his little bandana sorry it's I don't want to misgender you it's little bandana is so cute and I just I kind of want to keep it it's adorable i had no idea it squeaks sorry i just looked at the receipt and it says squeaky toy and then at the till as i here do they have all the food bits and everything and we did get a little bit caught by the trap because i actually saw swedish fish which i have never tried um we can't tell if they're vegetarian but it says in the corner gelatin free not gelatin free because it's in swedish i presume but gelatin free and I know these are a thing in America and obviously in Sweden and apparently the American ones are better for some reason but I really wanted to try them so when I saw them I was like gotta give them a go I'm gonna double check their gelatin fruit before I eat them if not I'll probably just gift them to someone but yeah so those were kind of cool I think they were about a pound or something as well and then Joe saw these which are dime like Rolos and we love dime when I'm a wet there, she just gets the bags and they're just so good. I actually couldn't have them for ages because my braces and they were way too tough. So now I'm very excited to have some again. And that's all we got. I don't know how much they were. They were probably about a pound as well. So although we didn't get anything big other than the like cabinets, we wanted to get 
the storage for the wardrobe and we also wanted to get some storage for over here and we wanted to look at the dining tables and everything and they were just out of stock of so much so it was a bit of an, a pain but I think we're just going to place an order because realistically we wouldn't have been able to carry everything back anyway. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look on the website and check everything. I'm really glad we went though because things like the vase and the teddy, you can't actually order online. Especially the vases, you, if you order online, it's like a random selection. You don't get to choose what colour, whereas I knew I really wanted the green one. So I got to go in and get that and we also just had a little trip and it was fun. So yeah, that is everything that I got. <laughs> My total for everything was £94.20, and which is quite a lot, but obviously we got the vase, the glasses, and the doors, and the doormat, um, which are all kind of big things, and then quite a few candles, which are normally fairly expensive anyway. So I'm very happy with everything that we got, and I'm going to end this here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe. Also, remember to stay notified with my videos because maybe follow me on Instagram. I always post them there or put that no bell notification thingy on. I never tell people to do that. But if you like, because obviously we are going to be having a lot more home content coming soon and decorating and everything. And I'm really excited about it all. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.